Everybody, what does my bangs look like that? Happy Thursday! Today I have class at 2 p.m. So I'm just getting ready for that. But before that, I actually have a flat viewing because your girl is moving out. I'll show you guys, I guess, the tour of the flat that I view. This is probably gonna be it. It's still very early, like it's right now, it's um October. Yeah, it's still October, and I'm moving out in January. We found this flat that meets all of our requirements like literally all of them i still haven't seen it but i've seen a video online and i've already like booked it like applied for it and i had to pay a fee so we're pretty committed to it i'm just gonna go and see it just to double check or like make sure today i also have business analytics i think after class i'm gonna get some food with some friends and that's pretty much it for today whenever i have uni the whole day just goes by like that because i spend because i'm in class from two to five right and then i usually do some work in between like five to six or seven and that's when i make dinner plans because i'm um, in central london so i want to take the opportunity and just see some friends and stuff I'm using the YSL Touche Eclat High Cover Concealer And also update, remember how last time I said that I joined the society? I did not go to the socials yesterday But I'll do it next week, I'll do it next week The stuff will be gone and will be clear because I'm um, having dinner with some friends so I'm just gonna stay here do some work this is what we did today I swear sometimes I feel like I'm in high school like the activities we do dead I'm procrastinating I'm gonna go. I'm hungry. So I just wanted to jump in real quick to introduce to you today's sponsor, which is Case the Fi. I just got my package in the mail, and I'm so so excited to open this box. They even sent me the tempered glass screen protector and lens protector. These are Casetify's new impact and ultra impact phone cases and they are actually made out of 65% of recycled and plant-based material. Casetify has a wide range of phone cases of different designs and prints. Let me show you guys the ones that I got. I got these two printed ones. Actually, put one. let's put one on. My phone feels so nice and protected. I also have this one, which I've been eyeing on for a really long time. I actually really wanted to get this as a gift for a friend. Um, all of their phone cases are such a great idea as a gift. Like, who doesn't like phone cases? I have two personalized ones. So this first one, I customized this one and I put on Honey here in this white font because I have a black phone so I used the white font of course Castify's phone cases are not only pretty they also use a lot of cool technology so for example Castify's Qi Tech 2.0 technology offers drop protection of up to 9.8 feet for the ultra impact case and their cases are also wireless charging and 5G friendly let's do a little drop test shall we my phone's still fine Ah, 
Histophyte Impact and Ultra Impact cases are also 100% BPA free, 100% non toxic, and non hazardous. Their cases feature Defensify, an antimicrobial coating that kills 99% of bacteria and prevents bacteria from sticking to the case surface. So, if you guys are interested in Kistify's phone cases, um, I have 15% off for you guys. Just go to kistify.com slash noriyama. I will have the link in the description box. Go check it out. Thank you, Kistify, again for sponsoring today's video. Hi, hello. So I'm currently in this outfit because I have to shoot for this outfit. And then I think if I have time, I'll shoot a few more. So that's the plan. I don't know if I want to shoot with this camera or with my phone because I kind of want the film effect. So if I want the film effect, I need this camera and I'll edit it. I will take it with my film camera, but the thing is I don't have a photographer, so I have to do it by myself. So... Got this package this morning from Low Classic. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot, I think this shirt. This shirt is beautiful, and I think I can do that in the kitchen. Um, I have it all in my head right now, so hopefully it turns out well. Do you all see this? I just finished shooting the two outfits. I was quicker than I thought it would be, but I really like the ones that I took with the camera because I don't know, I just I really like them. And now I'm just gonna edit them real quick. Uh, so I have them ready and send them over. Actually, I don't have to send them over to anyone, but I just want to show it to my manager and receive some validation so I feel more confident about it. I woke up in such a bad mood because I'm still kind of sick, I'm still really congested but now that I have some content done, I feel great <laughs> I feel so useful, so capable and also I think my coffee is kicking in <laughs> These are the pictures I select everything Let me just show you guys Okay, this one's kind of cool Okay, my eyes are like, no This one's kind of cool The shirt is all weird Oh, I like this one yeah, and then go to my good old presets. I'm gonna find another film. Let me see. I like this one. I kind of teach this myself because I just I use Lightroom a lot, and I kind of just figure it out. Whatever I don't know how to do, I just go on YouTube and I look for a tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> okay. My nose is really congested now. Anyway, I'm gonna keep editing these pictures. Alexa. Play Spotify. Hello, we're gonna go do some work now. I'm here at Waterstones near UCL. Wow, 
so this is my room i chose the purple which is calming and for the lymphatic system i'm so excited i think i have to take off my bathrobe do i have to i went out last night i went to this halloween party it was really really fun i went as mia wallace and surprisingly nobody really like they had to try pretty hard to get my costume i thought mia wallace was quite a common costume yeah and it's funny because i like rubbed some red lipstick on my nose to mimic the nosebleed and some people were actually concerned about me that I, my nose was bleeding <laughs> which was funny look at how much i'm sweating i've just been there like five minutes honestly but i have to step up drink some water get some hydration and then i'm gonna step back in again I started in the summer, now it's um almost winter and I still haven't finished it. I'm halfway through though. But this is um, After Dark by Murakami and I'm actually reading it in Spanish because my sister for some reason has it in Spanish. Something I do is I, I will read a page but my mind would be thinking of another thing. So like I would be reading whatever I was reading on that page but I, but I, um, I think someone just recognized me and oh. pointed at me. Okay, that's awkward anyway uh what's i saying yeah i would be reading that page but i wouldn't really absorb any information so to go back and read it again that's why i'm a slow reader like this book is supposed to be read super quickly but it's taken me a few months now it's been like 30 minutes i haven't really read anything i just ended up on my phone and then i was looking through stories and i was I'm looking at how other people is living their lives. There's people um, on holidays in a sunny, warm place, the Maldives, for example. I'm asking myself, ooh, would you like to go to the Maldives? And then I'm like, honestly, I would only go for the content. I would only go to take content. I wouldn't go for, I wouldn't go for personal enjoyment because I don't really find any enjoyment in laying on the sun and doing nothing. If I, if I ever went to the Maldives, I would only be happy if I had good content. <laughs> I think there's something wrong with me. And today, just me here at the park. It was nice and all. It's um, quite um, peaceful, but I'm more happy about the fact that I filmed it. <laughs> and you know, I'm adding some content to my vlogs. Moral of the story, I don't know what to do in life. Yeah, I don't think this is normal. I can't pinpoint what is what what is there that is, you know, not content creation that I like. I'm thinking like if I wasn't a YouTuber and I had like a nine to six job, what would I do on the weekend? What would I do on my spare time? I feel like I wouldn't do anything. Even if have if I had those jobs I just do nothing. Another thought I had. Okay, I'm gonna go back home now. I have another Halloween party tonight. So, uh, if I get on the bus now, I can watch the sunset on the bus. 